Dreadwing has the same body type as Skyquake. This makes sense, since they are twin brothers. Coincidentally, both Skyquake and Dreadwing were introduced in the sixth episode of their respective seasons. Although he is the third second in command, Megatron seems to trust him more than he ever trusted the other two. Dreadwing's overall design is very reminiscent of Beast Wars Depth Charge. He lost both Iacon relics he went to retrieve to Starscream, the Apex Armor and the third Omega Key. Unlike the other Decepticons who are villains, Dreadwing is shown to be more of an anti-hero. In Thirst, most fans hoped Dreadwing's body would become a zombie, but his body was not shown to be in the warship. This raises the question of what happened to the body. Dreadwing never fought against Bumblebee, the one who killed his brother. However, in the non-canon Transformers Prime game, he and Bumblebee battled for the piece of Thunderwing. Dreadwing's role seems to have been split between Shockwave and the Predacon Predaking as Shockwave was the new second-in-command, alongside Starscream, who was very loyal while Predaking had a redemption story that resulted in him betraying the Decepticons, though Predaking wasn't killed. Dreadwing and Predaking have a lot in common. They were both betrayed by the Decepticons and Megatron. Though Dreadwing shares a large cannon weapon like his brother, he has more weapons which includes bombs and a sword. Dreadwing's fate was not known to the Autobots. However they have learned from either Knockout or from the ship's logs that he was dead. It is unknown what their reaction was if they learned about his fate. Dreadwing's samurai helmet-like head is rather appropriate due to his sense of honor and his possession of a sword. Dreadwing is the only character to be recast in the video game with Fred Tassori doing a pretty good impersonation of Tony Todd.